All right, so I found 15 of the most profitable business ideas with low competition. And the best thing is most of these don't require that much money to start up and they're relatively easy to get started in general. They don't require you to have a lot of skills. So the first one on the list is going to be senior proofing because aging is inevitable, but making your living space senior friendly doesn't have to be a headache. And basically what this involves is modifying homes to make them safer for seniors that are living in them. So this could be something like adding guardrails to a staircase, or in some cases, even having an elevator that takes the seniors up the staircase. It could also include something as simple as having something that they can hold onto when they're taking a shower, or making sure that there's not a lot of things that they might trip on. And by the way, the US centenarian population a bit of a mouthful, is projected to quadruple over the next 30 years. That means there's going to be over four times as many people that reach the age of 100 years old over the next 30 years. So this business is going to be growing a lot during that time. And senior proofing projects typically are going to make between $500 and $5,000 per project. And there are a lot of projects available. So yeah, this is a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, if you appreciate me and my team spending literally hundreds of hours making these types of videos, go ahead and let us know by gently tapping that like button. And let's move on to the next one on the list, which is going to be baby proofing. So this is basically the opposite of senior proofing, but it's really good money as well. And this basically involves creating a safe environment for infants and toddlers. Now, this is actually a $6.2 billion market. And this involves things like making sure that kids can't get access to the medicine cabinet or a different cabinet that might have drain cleaner or something along those lines in it. And also making sure that babies don't have access to over two inches of water because unfortunately they can actually drown in as little as two inches, as well as many, many other things. Now there's one multi-million dollar a year baby proofing company, and this is babyproofer.com, and they've actually baby proofed 18,000 homes. Now, imagine all the other homes that they haven't done. I mean, there's millions and millions of homes in the United States. They're one of the biggest companies and they've only done 18,000. So there is a ton of opportunity here. And typically you can make between 50 to $100 an hour doing these types of projects. And the cost to baby proof a two bedroom home is usually going to be 252 to $780 initially. And there's a lot of different types of baby proofing, such as adding cabinet locks, electrical hazard baby proofing, as well as bathroom baby proofing. Now this one obviously doesn't require a college degree or previous experience to get started. And yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. What's up guys? So I'm sitting here in the editing process and I realized that I actually have a live stream. It's basically gonna be like a workshop. It's gonna be a Zoom workshop. You're gonna be in a call with me and I'm gonna be teaching you how to grow and monetize YouTube. I'm gonna re be revealing the five biggest secrets that I have when it comes to growing and monetizing YouTube. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be answering any questions that you have about starting a successful YouTube channel. So that is going to be 8 p.m. on Tuesday, Eastern Daylight Time, because they recently changed that. So it's EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. Um, so make sure you double check on the time because the time zone change is going to be happening here pretty soon. So Eastern Daylight Time, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Um, definitely check it out. Don't want to miss it. I'll see you there. Next is going to be stump removal. And this is where you remove stumps that come from trees. And you basically are gonna be catering to homeowners, landscapers, and property developers. And this is technically a type of landscaping business, although it's highly specialized. And people typically pay anywhere from 300 to $1,000 to get a stump removed. So yeah, this is another niche business idea where you can make real good money with it. You can either do it as a side hustle or you could turn it into a full-time business. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a home energy auditor. And basically, they're going to be assessing residential energy usage for areas of improvement and efficiency. And this business basically operates in the energy conservation industry. And you can offer your services independently, collaborate with local utilities, or even partner with a construction company. And not only is this good for the environment, but on top of it, you actually save a bunch of money for the homeowner or the business owner that gets the audit conducted. 
and the average home energy audit cost is about $425. And then on top of that, you'll be probably installing certain things or at least referring them to install certain things from other companies. And when you do that, you're likely gonna make a lot of money. So this is a really good one. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be choosing a profitable niche on YouTube. Now, a lot of people try to start YouTube channels, but what most people do is they choose an unprofitable niche. For instance, you might try to start a gaming channel or a vlog channel or a travel channel. And unfortunately, everybody else wants to start those types of channels too. And it's basically a winner take all type of market where only the people at the very top are making money. Whereas there's lots of these little micro niches on YouTube where you see channels with less than 5,000 subscribers that can make over six figures. And that's not six figures a year, that's six figures a month. And it all depends on the type of niche that you choose. So you wanna make sure that you choose a profitable YouTube niche. Now with this channel, for instance, I make over six figures a month. Of course, this channel is a bit bigger, but you can definitely make a lot more than I do at a much smaller size if you choose the right niche. And there are channels out there that make over $3 million a month. So YouTube can be incredibly profitable. There's lots of different extremely profitable niches. And the big thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is you're solving real problems for real people that have real money. If you nail those three things, you're gonna make sure that you are in a profitable niche. Another thing I recommend is starting education channels, not entertainment channels, because it's just so much easier to make money with an education channel. And yeah, YouTube is phenomenal. Um, I always like to mention in all of these videos because I see a lot of these you know, side hustle channels and side hustle type videos where they don't mention YouTube as a side hustle and then all of them are making a ton of money from their YouTube niche business or their YouTube side hustle. So it seems a little disingenuous to talk about a bunch of other side hustles and not talk about the one that I'm actually doing. So yeah, YouTube YouTube's incredible. I'll give it a 10 out of 10 score. I don't want to make a bunch of competition for myself or anything, but YouTube's awesome. Oh, and by the way, I do actually train a few people per month. I actually offer my own mentoring, my own coaching to a few people per month when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And if you want to apply for that, you can click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But with that being said, I am very picky about who I work with. I only work with people who are really dedicated to actually having success on YouTube. But you can go ahead and apply down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you're that type of person. Next is going to be a bed bug removal specialist business. Now, I actually used to work at a hotel. Uh, one of my bosses, he was basically like my original mentor. I worked in several different of his businesses, but one of them was a hotel. And I can tell you that hotels have issues with bed bugs all the time. And it's not just hotels, it's Airbnbs and even houses. And so this is a very profitable business because let's be honest, if someone goes to an Airbnb or if someone goes to a hotel and they get bed bugs, they're gonna leave a very bad review. And that's gonna be very, bad for business. Now the pest control market is already $22 billion and it's expected to grow to $29 billion by 2026. So it is rapidly growing and it's an incredibly profitable market. And 20% of Americans have had bed bug infestations in their own house. And you can actually charge between $300 and $5,000 for bed bug extermination services. And then after that, you can offer regular inspections to make sure that they never come back. So yeah, incredible business model. As a side note, you can also make a ton of money as a pest control salesman. I know everybody talks about like remote sales or high ticket sales, but honestly, there's a lot of other opportunities outside of you know remote sales or high ticket sales and pest control salesman is phenomenal. You can make six figures easily. So yeah, really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be home nurses or home care. And this is where you provide personalized healthcare services to individuals in the comfort of their own home. And it's almost like bringing a hospital to your own doorstep. And there's one homemade for every 154 households in the United States, and that number is rapidly rising. And here's a company, for instance, it's Home Nursing Agency, and their revenue is $67 million a year. So you can make a ton of money doing this. So yeah, this one is really good. There's a lot of opportunity in healthcare. There's lots of different random healthcare careers, and also a lot of different random healthcare related businesses out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a super random one, which is concrete removal. Yes, have you ever seen a super ugly slab of concrete that has a bunch of cracks in it and it's super dirty? And you thought to yourself, 
Man, I wish I could remove that. Well, there are businesses out there that actually do this. So they basically demolish and clear out old or damaged concrete structures from driveways, patios, and more. And the average job for concrete removal ranges from $200 to $6,000. And the average is about $2,000. So you can make a ton of money doing this. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment below if you like any of these niche business ideas or maybe there's one that you wanted me to mention, just go ahead and let me know by commenting below. A lot of the time I will read your comments and then I'll mention it in another video. Next is going to be a mobile on-call car mechanic. So mobile car mechanics are very rare, but it is something that a lot of people want. And I mean, think about it. Have you ever gotten your car repaired where you have to kind of like drive to some place, you drop it off, or maybe you might even have to tow it to this place. Then you have to wait in their office for a long time. And then you might even just like leave, take a taxi back to your house and then come back the next day. It's super inconvenient. But what if you could have a mechanic come to your house and repair your car in your driveway? Well, that's exactly what these professionals do. Now, the type of job is going to range like a ridiculous amount. I mean, anything from an oil change that costs maybe $35 all the way up to a clutch replacement that costs $1,400. And typically, mobile mechanics are going to charge a lot more than that because of the convenience. And usually, the types of people who order this type of thing are the types of people who have a lot of money, but they don't have a lot of time. So they pay the extra amount. They pay the premium for the convenience. So yeah, this is another really good one. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score as well. Next is going to be an elevator repair service. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna be repairing elevators. Now, of course, elevators are a very specific type of technology, and it's very important that they're safe and repaired correctly because people's lives would be lost if they weren't. And there's about a million total elevators in the United States of America, so that's a lot of elevators that might need to be repaired. And the national average for repairing an elevator usually ranges from $500 to $1,000. And typically, there's also going to be maintenance costs where you'll probably come back every week or every month to make sure the elevator is good. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The reason it's a bit lower is because you have to have a lot of specialized knowledge and specialized certifications in order to do this. Now, the next one on the list that doesn't require a lot of specialized knowledge is going to be carpet cleaning or rug cleaning. And I learned this the hard way when I was moving out of a house one time. Basically, I moved out of the house and I basically had a cleaning company come over to help me clean it. And they told me that they don't do carpet cleaning or rug cleaning. But the problem was I had accidentally spilled a bunch of Chinese food on the floor and it stained the carpet. So that was a big problem for me and I had to try to find somebody who specializes in carpet cleaning. Eventually, I did find somebody, but they charged a ton of money, a lot more than I thought they would have. And so a lot of different cleaning services actually don't offer this and that's a huge opportunity for you. So you could actually just start a service that just does carpet cleaning or rug cleaning, and you could probably make a full-time income from it, and you could charge a lot more than a traditional cleaning service. So yeah, carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, you can make a ton of money doing this. A lot of the time you can make over $1,500 in a single day cleaning a carpet or rug. You can make even more money if you specialize in something like oriental rugs. So yeah, this one is really good. Actually, like you can make a ton of money doing this. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. One that's very similar to this is going to be mattress cleaning. And I'll add on to that couch cleaning as well. So again, this is one that typically cleaning services don't offer. It does require some specialized equipment and it is a little bit harder than the normal types of cleaning that you would do in a house, such as sweeping and vacuuming, et cetera. You can make a ton of money doing this. Mattress as well as couch cleaning can make a ton of money. And you can actually, in some cases, buy couches that are a little bit old, a little bit dirty, clean them and then flip them and sell them. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be generator installation. So if your power goes out, the only way that you're gonna actually be able to access electricity is if you have a generator. And a lot of people are becoming more and more aware of this. Now generators and power grids in general aren't the easiest thing to set up, and it's better to be prepared before it happens rather than after, or else it'll probably take you hours and hours to set it up and you won't have power during that time. And by the time you finally get it set up, the power's probably back on. And so in order to be prepared ahead of time, you wanna have your generator installed. 
and typically people will pay between $1,500 and $5,000 to get their generator properly installed. So there is a ton of money in this market. So yeah, I don't think there's much more to say about this one. It's obviously really good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a camping equipment rental business. So for instance, tent rentals. Now this isn't necessarily just camping. You can also rent out tents that might be required for events. So for instance, if somebody is having a family gathering or they're having a graduation party or something like that, they probably want a large tent that's put on stilts above them so that they don't get baked in the sun. And it's actually very well known that you can make thousands of dollars a month renting out your tents. Another thing you can do is you can actually set up tents on a property and then you can rent them out on places like Airbnb as well. A lot of people kind of like to do semi camping, which is where they're you know, on a property, but they're relatively close to the city, so they're safe, but they're basically kind of pretending like they're camping out in the wilderness. And so this form of renting tents is actually getting more and more popular. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be virtual assistant services, but you wanna make sure you specialize in something. For instance, you could specialize in virtual assistant services for SaaS companies. Now SaaS stands for software as a service, and these types of virtual assistants would need to have a very particular skill set. And so a lot of the time you would go ahead and train them in the types of skills that they would need to know for SaaS companies specifically. And then these SaaS companies would pay you to either place the person in their company. A lot of the time that's going to be five to $10,000, or in some cases they may pay you monthly as the person does the job. And then you actually pay the person. Or if you don't want to start a virtual assistant staffing company, you could just become a virtual assistant on your own, learn a lot of these really high in demand skills, and then just help the companies directly yourself. And this person, for instance, Michelle, makes over 10K per month at home as a virtual assistant. So yeah, there's a lot of opportunities here. Of course, you wanna make sure that you niche down, make sure that you have a specialized skill set because you're gonna be a lot more valuable. You're gonna be providing a lot more value if you do that. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did have a video that went viral and it's the 21 dirty side hustles that no one is talking about. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.